Um, um, I uh, I posted the other Chrysler building uh, video finally. Yes, I saw that. That was with the gentleman out there on the uh, big uh, eagle head. Eagle head. Now you know why I to, since then have had kind of little anxiety attacks because I keep going back to that day with oh. that slippery metal eagle shit. Stainless steel is so stainless, slippery. Stainless the, steel. And the wind like that. Moses Gates, who's going to be in here in what, two weeks now? I think the 25th is the day he comes in. To promote mm. his book, Hidden Cities. Uh, Moses NYC on Twitter uh, took me on a nice little fucking tour. I would like to go to that, man. I couldn't go out there. It'd I think be it funny might, if he fell. I think it might be too late now, now that it's kind of out there. Started mm. getting out there in the last couple of weeks. And yeah. Now everyone's aware that that uh, office is completely empty, and that's how people are getting access to that um Oh, they got to be on to it now, right? It's an old observation deck. There's a, I, I show uh, the empty office in the video. It's nice. And then you... Uh, How is that office empty? I know. Pause. It's so nice. That's like... Pause. That's what I was wondering. This office is amazing. And, and then there's doors that open up to the old observation deck, which I've since learned closed in 1945. What? People haven't really done... Anything up there since 1945. I'm sure people that live in the building every once in a while will go up there, you know? But I'm sure after the Empire State Building was built, they were like, fuck this shit. Well, Who cares? And I went out on the uh, the actual observation deck. Th that guardrail that you're looking at in the video right there? Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to remember. It was not even four feet high. Now you hop right over that or yeah, fall over. Yeah, so, because people are like, why the fuck wouldn't they keep that open? It would be so dangerous if you had people out there on, yeah, a, on a regular basis. But back <laughs> back in the day, they just didn't think anything of it, and they allowed people. Sure, step on out there. Holy <laughs> fuck, and the wind Have a drink and some cigarettes. Howling up there. There were yeah. 72 suicides a day. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, the fucking eagle. The <laughs> eagle had fucking footprints on his head. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, with the freeze frame in the video, I uh, got a nice shot. The sun was going down when we went up there. You got the Empire State Building to the right, and then you got downtown with the big, uh, the Freedom Tower in the distance, and you got the uh, the shiny stainless steel eagle head that obviously is you know out over the building. It jets out like a gargoyle. It's fucking terrifying this video. Yeah. And look at the the stainless steel. Like I, I, I have a tough time watching this because I was slippery. there and I was like, it's this guy's so gonna slippery. fucking slip. And then what the fuck do I do? Someone said on Twitter, you, you walk away like uh, Bill Murray did in Caddyshack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just fucking, fucking just <laughs> skulk away. You know what it is? Uh, yeah, the stainless steel, it's like fucking, there's no paint on it. Mm -mm. There's no um, like oxidation from steel where it gets a little gritty or something. It's so smooth. And with that howling and wind like that, and it's not crazy. And it's not flat. It's flat sort of like in the middle, if that no. makes sense. But then it quickly has a it's curve round. to it. And you are precariously, you know, that guy's precariously perched. Ah, can we see it? You haven't seen it yet? I have, but it's it bothers crazy. me. I've never watched it again. It's uh, crazy. And, you know, because Moses is talking about it on his Twitter, and he's trying to say it wasn't win as windy that day. I left a shot in this video just to kind of show you how windy it actually was <sighs> that day. Scary. Because all you hear is wind noise in, in one of my shots. Yeah. But how is that office? It's probably so expensive. No, I bet it is, yeah. It's a beautiful spot. You would think someone would grab that. I wonder if the building leaves it empty because I don't Oh, no, people can still get to it. Yeah, well, what, uh, it wasn't easy to get outside. I'll just tell you that. What much. movie was that? What movie was that where they made it seem like the Chrysler Building, the top was someone's office? It was like really posh. And wasn't that the Will Smith movie? Was it a, a um, Men in Black situation? Or was I don't it... think so. It might have been Alec Baldwin in the office. I can't remember what it was. Oh, supposed. somebody help us out. I don't know. Uh, what? What? Uh, it looked because you could see the the Hudsucker proxy. Was it? Really? It might have been. You could see, like, the way the windows look from the outside, and it was that, but you could tell it was much bigger inside than it would have been outside. Well, the windows kind of kind of locked, but we uh, were oh. able to... Not locked, but you couldn't lift them from, uh, you know, up. Right. We had to lift from the oh, ceiling from down, down, and then we had to kind of hoist ourselves up and over the top. Did you get outside? Yeah. How'd fucking, you get back in? Same way. <laughs> I should have broke the fucking window. Yikes. No kidding. At any moment, I'm like, we're going to get arrested. This is fucking crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Uh, so you're outside now. What well, is that, no, 60 just, stories up? Uh, the observational deck goes to, uh, I want to say, 60. The Aviator. The Alec aviator? Baldwin's office when he was the head of Pan Am. Okay. Thank you, Sean, the producer. Maybe and, that's where it really was. And then from there, mm -hmm. just to give you a, a point of reference, we went up some stairs for another 10 or 10. 10 or somewhere around 10 to 12 stories in the stairwell. 
to the that was it. There's nowhere else to go, and that's where we got access to the ladders into the spire. Ah, and that goes all the way up to I think 925 feet. Do you have that video? Yeah, I put that online uh, a couple days ago. Oh, I didn't see that. Let's yeah. see the uh, yeah anyway guy so. walk out there. I want to do this. No, no you don't. Shucks. No, you don't. No, I, I've had weird anxiety since this fucking day for real. Would you do no it? No joke. No. No. I, <laughs> no. I would like to think I would. No. It, wait till you see this. The view is right now. Wow. There he is. All right, let me just fucking hop over the fucking little guardrail. There's guard no safety. There's no gate. He literally no... stepped over the edge. And He's you hear the wind. He's sitting on the eagle's head. He's standing He's on it. He's standing with his arms in the air. On a big gust. If a big gust of wind, it would have blown him right off of it. Pause. Here in New York City. Yeah, then I, I'll go back slightly. Ah. And then I just go to the shot so you get the full understanding of what he just did. There's the fucking eagle. How does he know that a gust of wind 50 miles an hour Dude, isn't going to come don't. and just blow him off of there you with don't. no chance of saving yourself? You don't. He doesn't. Imagine falling from the fucking no, Chrysler building. No, I wouldn't building. like that. He would just be like, oh, fuck, what happened? I was just on the Eagle. But I'm thinking, well, how do I explain this? You'd be in trouble. But what kind of trouble? You'd be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's just suffice to say. This is played over my head late at night way too many times. I thought it would be no big deal in the uh, end, but it's just it just has... You know, popped up some things. No, you wouldn't, man. Because look how fucking shiny that thing is. All right, continue. Oh my. God. Oh, that's not. Well, I mean, that is something. But then he Jeez. he just he did it one, two. He did it three times while we were up there, three different ways. He just w stepped over and didn't. I mean, I can't comprehend. No, it. and then watch this. I would never do Today, that. This guy here is Nelly, or I guess Gal. <laughs> Did you pull that mic back? Oh, that's Maud. And it's just like, you know, you see shots of this, you see Margaret Port White's great pictures, you see, you know, Will Smith jumping off of them. Oh. And you're just like, you know, you see him from the ground, you're just like, how do you, what would it be like to be here? And I'll show you a view of how, Look how high that is. far up we are. Oh my God. A little uh, pan down and oh then back up so you get the feel of... Oh, you, know, you always have to kind of get now watch this. To Sam, you wouldn't do this? No way. I wouldn't even he go He goes up over there. again. Go Look at it. And now he's he's crawling out there. Look how slippery that is. He's got to crawl over, over a light. light fixture. Oh, he says, ah, that's not good enough. He goes past the light to kiss the fucking eagle head. This is what get. Hold on. Pause, 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 pause. This is what has given me anxiety right here. He now has to turn around to get back into, you know, yeah. a safe spot. Yeah. And I've played it over and over and over again in my head that he slipping. slips. Cause he, he, my hands are sweating. Dude, he's... Oh, it's terrible. How, many, how wide is that? If you have a wide stance, let's say you have a wide stance, then he maybe yeah. has less than a foot on each side after that. It's yeah. Larry maybe. Craig plus six inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now you have a wide stance and you're facing outward. Now you got to turn your body around this tiny space with a little wind on what looks like a very slippery fucking Was he gone? surface. Was he gone? Look at me, Opie. Look at me. Look oh. at me. Look at me. Look at me, Opie. I'm dancing. <laughs> you didn't call me. <laughs> but he's got to crawl over the hot light. Yeah. Dude, watch the turnaround. This is what has freaked me out. For what if you panicked and got stuck and go, I can't get my dick back over the line. I have to stay here. Oh. And if you're holding on and all of a sudden, whoosh, and you're like, you know oh, that if you lift no. your head up, you're getting blown off. Jesus. Get the fire department. Get the fire department. Oh, not oh even God. a fucking, no. not even no. fucking like a rope around no. your waist Nothing. and tie it to the rail. No. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. But Shoelace around your cock. Nothing. Right. I know there's a million type of <laughs> videos like this out there, but what? is bothersome is just how like slippery that surface looked to me yeah, yeah. all right so watch the turnaround uh go back just slightly i don't like this at all oh it's your so palms are sweaty ter yeah harrowing right. look at that foot is so close to the edge and he's got it ah. that turnaround and then he stands up he's gonna fall one day yeah 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 yeah, yeah. That's fucking cool as shit. Though. I'd like to see him do that with Vaseline shoes. Right. Oh, man. Oh, Put some Vaseline imagine. on his shoes. Watch that hot shot. <laughs> this is the wind shot I left in the video just so you could get a feel how windy it was up there. That was the third time he did it. Or imagine the thing just for some reason snaps off and you're just falling with it. <laughs> yeah. And look, look at the the still shots I added at the, at the end just oh. to give you an idea. Now he's just sitting out there. I think he's spider man. I wouldn't do that if there were handrails. If that was enclosed, I wouldn't do it. Look yeah. at the look at the fucking he's just sitting Scary. out on the eagle head. 
That's scary. I've been sitting on that video for three fucking months. Finally got it out there. Cray, cray. Check it out. I tweeted it on my Twitter, OP Radio. Should be one of my last tweets. So So frightening. It's doing really well, though. My word. uh, That's... and then me climbing the ladders and the spire is pretty cool. But I want to see whatever. that. Hey, spire. Mm. So we're really high up in the Chrysler building, this way is, above the uh, observational deck. This is the highest actual floor. Right. Like the doors, the stairs in here, 70, there's a door. Um, one, 72 stories You can up. see we're not at the top. And what, we have to follow these ladders? Up the ladders? Pause. Up some more ladders, up some more ladders, up some cross. I can be honest, I'm trying to be cool. But the whole time, like, when, all right, just let me know. When do we get arrested? How is there nobody up there? I'm like, when do we get I'm arrested? Amazed. I'm trying to be fucking Joe Cool, but the whole time, I'm like, it's just a matter of time. Some security camera somewhere uh, sees that these two idiots are in this area. Yeah, why don't they have security cameras up there? Someone here? said in the video you could see a security camera. I, well, I, don't, I don't know exactly where. But... No one was watching the uh, feed. And then you got these tiny little ladders that start at the bottom of the spire, which is the, that, you know, the fucking structure at the top of the Chrysler building. Building, and yeah. it just gets smaller and smaller as you climb, and then you get into a room that's not a room. There's no real rooms. A space that is uh, like an eagle's nest that's maybe 10 feet by 10 feet. Maybe. You went all the way up, right? Yeah, we I went as high to, as you could. I don't want to sound like panicky Pete or anything, but what the fuck? Someone could bring explosives up there of and course. blow the entire top of the Chrysler building off all over Manhattan. You, you do realize that, you know, you could get some things done if you really Jesus. had that mindset. Scary. You know, but there were a couple light bulbs on in there, so I'm like, all right, they must be. And then I'm like, all right, if there's light bulbs on, someone's going to turn off the lights eventually for the yeah. night. No. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. right. I don't know. I want to see. I've never seen this video. All right, so then I oh. just try to be cool and I'm just climbing up one ladder after another. Tiny little ladders that maybe are uh, maybe a foot across, maybe. Yeah, little utility ladders. Right. But they're, you know, they're, they're very secure. Yeah. Still got to go all the way up there, up these ladders. Oh, yeah. Damn. Came Is that from closed here. in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. But you're getting hit with wind? Nah, it's all the, uh... Not many people have gone this high. As as we keep climbing upward. It's crazy. Going in between all of these. The crazy thing, though, right, is you think of the Chrysler building as, like, Art Deco, shiny, chrome, metal, you know, metal everywhere. And you're inside, and it's all reinforced concrete, you know, and you never would have thought it. I expected, like, shiny silver beams holding up this fire in here, too. And we're almost to the top. We're going way up there. Holy shit. It's Can't like go much higher than right there. Wow. See, pause. Made it to the top of the Chrysler building. Yeah, that's me from like exhaustion and, and, wow. and heat. And and I, I do remember now that it was a lot of wind because there's a lot of holes in this thing. Yeah. You think it's all nice and pristine and you know, well kept, but there's, so all, when there's it a rains, bunch of holes water and shit in there. Com- just comes flying in there? I don't know, I guess. They probably do that so it doesn't, it doesn't the, the holes keep the wind blowing through it so it doesn't yeah. stress? I don't know. But you that see this, this crazy. is it. You know, a building starts out almost like a whole city block and now we're down to that. Yeah. It's no more than 10 feet by 10 feet and that's it. That's all the space. Would you have been scared if you heard a crack and then your fucking oh. thing fell over? Dude, I was, I'm not going to sit here and try to be cool. I was scared shitless the whole You're time. You're not going to front, I was, yo? I was trying to be cool. Absolutely, it's trying to be cool, but I'm like, this is fucking scary as hell. The, the ladders themselves were scary. Did you find Bill Clay up there? Was Bill, <laughs> Bill Clay there? Get old Bill Clay. Bill, Bill Clay. Bill Clay. <laughs> How do they get up on top? Because every building has a, a, a an airplane mm. light, a red light. Right. How do they get up on top to change that? How do you get outside and on top to change that light? Since I posted this uh, video, I've heard from a lot of guys. One guy says, hey, man, I'm, I, I've cleaned those windows. On the inside or outside? It. I don't know. Who sees them? Who cares? How no do you, idea. But how do you get that fucking light changed? I don't know, because it's a weird structure. It, we're basically going to a point. It has to be from inside you change the bulb. Right. We went even higher than this, but there's nothing really up there. It's just like more crawl space, but you, there's no light whatsoever in that. I'll bet you that's how you change the bulb. You probably like unscrew Maybe. something, and, and then you put the bulb up through. Jesus. Maybe. So why would you go on the very top to change the bulb? That would be idiotic. Yeah. But I, I went sort of back down to this nesty area because that's where the last windows. If you if you Google image the Chrysler building, the last windows at near the point, that's where <laughs> this video was taken right here. The rest of this, hit play. 
It is so hot in here. Climb through a network of ladders. At least 100 to 200 feet. More like 200. All right. What a trip. Whoa. Look out the windows. A lot of cell phone antennas and all kinds wow. of stuff out there. It's a tiny little space here. I don't even know if this uh, video does it justice. This is pretty crazy, Moses. I know, man, but it's really fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I really, I, honestly, I think everybody should be allowed to see this. Oh, oh sure. Yeah, yeah let the city, the city do that. Man. Like, yeah, the mayor like that doesn't want you drinking sodas iconic. is going to let you climb yeah, like, on a like, fucking <laughs> precarious ladder. <laughs> yeah, mayor, we don't want you to get fat from soda. Is going to, you know, they should just allow everybody to walk out on stainless steel eagle heads in the wind. <laughs> Jesus. This guy's out of his bird. <laughs> <laughs> then let him climb the tiny little ladder. Yeah, the tiny ladder. way to this tiny crawl space. Sure, You're way sure. Up, dude. Look at this. Yeah, that's I, crazy. I can't believe how much more space there is after the Eagles, how much higher that building well, goes. Well, the Eagles, like I said, uh, the Eagles, and then at least 10 to 12 stories uh, through the, uh, the, st the stairwell, because I don't think there was... Um, I don't think there was an elevator at that point. I think the elevator ended at the observation deck. Mm. And then, after the 10 or 12 stories in the stairwell, that's when we started our climb to the top of the spire. Were there offices up there at all or no? No. What's up there? Just nothing? Uh, oh, between the uh, observation deck? In that, yeah. We didn't really go into the floor area, so I don't know. But after it gets to a certain point of where it's just that stainless steel cap on the, the building, it's just structural, right? It's me... just like cosmetic for the outside. Aesthetics. Look, man. I, hmm. Hmm. we got in, uh, we got, I, I don't know, it, it's pretty amazing we got access to where we, we where we were, because I he had count. to, he had to do something that was even pretty fucking scary. Hmm. He had a, he had a, you see this weird cement shit? Yeah. We were in a room, and then this weird cement shit, we were done, he's like, oh, fuck, now what? And then he decided to climb between the weird cement shit and, and the outside. Yeah. Wow. Right up against, the, I guess, would be the stainless steel of the spire. Just, and just started climbing, hoping that there was something up above us. Like, it's almost impossible to do what we did. Yeah. Was there anything above you? He found it. And, then, and then he goes to me, uh, he, goes to, he goes to me, oh, hey, thank you, sir. hey, meet me up on the next, um, the next floor. Because uh, officially we weren't, we weren't at the highest floor yet. Then he let me in because he climbed this weird thing, and then that was officially the last floor, and then the start of the ladders. But we, do but we found a dead end is basically what I'm saying. But he he figured it out. But you didn't look in any of the um, the offices that were there, up there, or no? Dude, uh, is this people working? I was or? thinking any door we open, we're gonna fucking get arrested. No, of <laughs> course not. But I was just like, holy fuck, dude. No How much people. longer do are we doing this? How'd you get all the way up to the top office of the elevator? What what? Oh, yeah, I don't want to talk. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was all on the up and up. Yeah, was it? That, the first part was all on the up and up. Hmm. Without saying how. Yeah, yeah. But if I explain it to you, you go, oh, God, that's that's pretty fucking brilliant. I'll tell you off air. Damn. He might even tell you on air. That's up to him. I want him to take me up there. If you get we arrested, did not, it's we, trespassing. I mean, it's not it's like you're doing any damage. I we did not enter the building illegally, is all I'll say. The building. Right. And then we went, you know, where we were supposed to go. And then after that, you know, you just wandered around. Were there around signs a bit. that said no people uh, beyond this point? Or give me a give me a lie detector test. All right, I, I did have not, one. I don't know. You got to hold this Would in your mouth answer. for twenty minutes. <laughs> it detects any lies. Give me a lie detector <laughs> test. How did Moses get into some things? I don't know. You don't know. Nope. You didn't see one sign. I don't know. <laughs> No, man, I'm not even joking. Yeah? I purposely didn't fucking... I, didn't I, look? Nope. Hmm. Nope. So, all right, so now... As you turned and... 
<laughs> I need a break because <laughs> they just made me laugh so hard. Can you go back to the to the oh. everyone should be able everyone. to do this. <laughs> everyone should be able to do this. Like you said, in a city where they want to take away your big gulp. Yeah, yeah, your big gulp is too dangerous to to fucking have. You're not to be trusted with a big gulp. But you know, let's scale the inside of a fucking building where there's nothing but concrete cross members and and fucking small ladders. And if you fell off one of those ladders, you would hurt yourself oh, a lot on the way down. You'd look like the the fucking <laughs> plinko chip. Yes. What's that? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you play Plinko. I get it. You would bounce off. You would bounce off so much shit. Yeah, and different shit too, from cement to metal to fucking wires. But and... you know what? Everybody <laughs> should. <laughs> I love it. Push play. And you know, I, I really, I honestly, I think everybody should be allowed to see this and do this. Like we're up here in the higher the fucking Chrysler Building, man. Like yeah. it's like kind of nothing more iconic. You know, I can look, I'm just looking right across 42nd Street right now. We're in a tiny little crawl space at the top of the Chrysler right. building. But the thing is, like, if I were here on a mountain right now, standing just like this, nobody would think it was dangerous. No one would think twice. Right. Nobody would be like, what are you doing? It's only because it's like a building that people get uptight, but man, this is like cooler than a lot of mountains. <laughs> there there we go. To the depths of hell. He leaves. This is unbelievable. One last look. I'd take her out there and fucking eat her ass. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. The window. That's you. Yeah. Amazing. Phew. All right, freeze, freeze. <laughs> look at the hole. Yeah, look at that. There's just holes in the side. Wow. Then back on the ground. Okay, back on the ground here in New York City. Just want to show you where we were. This is the world famous Chrysler Building. And yes, we were at the top of that. That's crazy. Just an amazing experience. Drop the camera, drop it! Fuck. <laughs> yeah, then I'm on the ground going, no one no one knows what I just fucking did. This is and, and this was all in one day. This started with the mole people video that I yeah. talked about months ago. We went mole people underground exploring. And then he goes, uh, are you cool for something else? I'm like, yeah, what? He goes, I can't tell you. And we jump in a cab, and he goes, don't even look out the windows. I want it to be a surprise. But then, you know, I kind of know New York, and I realize, holy fuck, I th we're heading toward the Chrysler building. Oh. What the f, f And then we get out of the Chrysler building. What's and about? He goes, yeah, just follow me. Don't even, don't, don't, don't say anything. Don't no, say a whatever. word. And then we just walk in, and I'm, I have, like, tremendous guilt, because I know, you know, I have no reason to be in this building. <sighs> yeah. Next thing you know, you fast forward five minutes, we're out on this observation deck that they closed in 1945 with the Eagles' heads. Dude, what, what happens? Okay. You, he's climbing above you. You're there. He falls. He hits you. You both now fall. You're tumbling, hitting off of those beams. You mm. finally land on some kind of platform. Nice. He's dead. You are paralyzed completely but alive, and you're like, help me. <laughs> oh, my God. And you know no one goes up there. <laughs> you're just, oh, my God. I got a cell phone. Oh, hey. But you can't use it. I'll figure it out. You hear it go. You hear your cell phone oh go, God, but you're... you can't move to get it. Oh, yeah. my God. You would just rot up there. You're a sick fuck. No one goes up there. Very dangerous. Mm. That eagle is fucking oh. scary. If you want to impress a girl, though, man, you go up there. Yeah. Little, Jerk off eat on her ass. That little nesty area. I like the idea of eating her ass up there, well, just no. looking out the window. Look, that's a nice view. Mm. Well, 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 or if she wouldn't give you anything while she's looking out the window, you just start jerking off against her thigh, and she'd be so distracted by the view. She let you. <laughs> you think the view would distract her enough where you could jerk off on her thigh? She'd be like, hey, what do you. And then you go, oh, look. <laughs> and you point. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. How are those ladders attached? Ah, very securely, yeah. They it's didn't just, move. They didn't they're, they're, the But they're straight, straight up. Bolts. There's no angle whatsoever. Those ladders I would that, actually do. Yeah. I would never do them. I was so scared. It's creepy because they're straight up. You know, most ladders get a little angle, so it's not as bad. When yeah, they yeah. go straight up like that, that always creeps me out. What man. happens if you get 90 up there? 90-degree angle. And then when you're up there, you just hear the ladders fall. Oh, boy. And you can't climb down anything. No. Well, there's plenty of... Uh, Stuff to climb down up there. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be that. I, the eagle scared me. The outside shit scared me. Oh my god! I wouldn't even go there. No way. I like to break down. I would maybe. Eagle. I would maybe <laughs> step over the the uh, the guardrail. No way. Holding on though, still. <laughs> do you think maybe. you could do that with socks? Oh my god! Tell them to go out there with some socks. Brand on. Brand new white socks. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> on a windy day. And and then you you do the fucking now 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 now. And you slide oh, out onto the eagle <laughs> in your undies. 